I'm not gonna hold y'all. I do not think that Kate Middleton is still with us on this planet. I don't think she's alive. I do not. I think that they got her. Okay, initially it was a soft launch. Now it's just full out hard launch. What do you mean may never come back? And we all know it wasn't just one publication. It was definitely multiple. Definitely multiple. And all of them use those four words, may never come back. Now the insider stated, and I quote, He's concerned she's become emotionally unstable, but she insists that she's finally seeing clearly. What you mean emotionally unstable? Hmm? Cause what you not gonna do is pull a Princess Diana. That's not what we gonna do. That's not what we gonna do. Remember those Kate Middleton conspiracies from a few months back? Well, they are back in full swing and reports are circulating that Kate might no longer be with us and that the royal family is hiding the real truth from the public. As you probably know, back in March, Kate revealed in a video message filmed by BBC Studios that she was diagnosed with cancer and had been undergoing chemotherapy since late February. But she assured the public that everything was fine and there was nothing to worry about. But a a shocking new report was just released claiming that Kate will never return to her royal duties. But what does this even mean? If she's still being treated for cancer, how do they know she will never return? And get this, just weeks before this report came out, the royal family palace sources claimed that Kate was fine and enjoying time out and about with her family. Um, so which is it? She's fine and going out and about? Or she's so sick that she may never return to her duties? It would be so easy for Kate to let the world know if she is truly fine or not by at least sharing an update about her treatment. But yet, it's like the royal palace is not letting her show her face. Even that video message that was shared in March looked sketchy and folks on social media found a bunch of clues that it may have been AI generated. And as much as I haven't been a fan of the royals in general, Kate is a woman with three young children who appears to be missing without a trace. And nothing the royal family has said about her condition over the past months makes any sense. This is just so bizarre and you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to see that something sketchy is going on behind the scenes. But in case you're out of the loop with the whole Kate situation, let me break it all down for you. Some shady is happening and it's just a matter of time before an announcement happens and you can't really argue with people when they tell you, oh, it was an illness that, you know, ended it. Because at that point, it's just fate, you know? No one did anything. But honestly, the whole situation at this point is really sad, especially because she has people that should be protecting her and it seems like they're not. So let's talk about how the British royal family has a terrifying track record of treating women as disposable baby makers and then getting rid of them once they're no longer useful. Either that or they make them look like they're crazy or emotionally unstable. The campaign was being waged against me. Yes, I did. Absolutely. Yeah. Why? Mm. I was a separated wife to the Prince of Wales. I was a problem, full stop. Never happened before. What do we do with her? Can't we pack her off to somewhere quietly rather than campaign against mm. her? She won't go quietly. That's the problem. I'll fight till the end. How did that show itself? By visits abroad being blocked, by uh, things that had come naturally in my way being stopped, letters going, that got lost and various things. So despite the fact that your interest was always to continue with your duties, you found that your duties were being held from you? Yes. The campaign was, in that point, was being successful. But it did surprise the, the people who were causing the grief. It did surprise them when I took myself out of the game. They hadn't expected that. And I'm a great believer that you should always confuse the enemy. Who was the enemy? <clears throat> well, the enemy was my husband's department because I always got more publicity. Uh, my work was m m was discussed much more than him. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path and I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? Well, there's a lot of talk online that the same thing is now happening to Kate Middleton. And most people are not buying the official narrative about Kate getting cancer treatment. Now, just to catch you up to speed, this whole royal drama kicked off back in January when Kensington Palace revealed that Kate Middleton was in the hospital recovering from a scheduled abdominal surgery. The palace said in a statement that, based on the current medical advice, Kate was unlikely to return to public duties until after Easter. But they assured the public the surgery 
was successful and that Kate would spend up to 14 days in the hospital before returning home to continue her recovery. Fast forward a couple of weeks later and the palace released another statement saying that Kate was discharged from the hospital and was doing well. The statement read, The Princess of Wales has returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. She is making good progress. Now, initially, there was no reason to question the palace's story. But shortly after the official announcement, Spanish media claimed that Kate had actually been admitted to the hospital on December 28th and that her condition was extremely serious, more serious than the palace was willing to admit. And then a few days later, Spanish media dropped another bombshell claiming that Kate was actually in a coma. But the palace quickly stepped in to squash these rumors, calling the coma allegations ludicrous. The palace then released yet another vague statement claiming that Kate had returned home to Windsor to continue her recovery from surgery. Now here's where things get really weird. Throughout February, there were no updates about Kate at all. But then on March 4th, TMZ released a paparazzi photo supposedly showing Kate and her mom in a car. But the photo was so blurry that even if you zoomed in, it was hard to tell if it was really Kate. This was when people started coming up with all sorts of theories about Kate's condition. So the palace tried to shut down the rumors by sharing what they told us was a new photo of Kate and her kids on Mother's Day. But just hours after the royals posted this photo, three major agencies, Reuters, Associated Press, and Getty, issued a kill notice saying the photo was digitally manipulated. The AP released a statement saying, at closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. No replacement photo will be sent. But what the palace did next was even more insane. Once the photo was exposed as being photoshopped, Kensington Palace posted a bizarre message on their X account. And this message, supposedly written by Kate, claimed that she was the one who manipulated the photo. Like many amateur photographers, I do occasionally experiment with editing. I wanted to express my apologies for any confusion the family photograph we shared yesterday caused. I hope everyone celebrating had a very happy Mother's Day. See. Now, obviously, no one was buying this. The most famous royal family in the world and the woman who is set to be the next queen was playing around with Photoshop after major surgery and posted a family picture designed to quash rumors about her whereabouts without anyone in the ranks inspecting it first. <laughs> yeah, that's totally normal. Nothing suspicious about it at all. But believe it or not, the palace just kept gaslighting the public. After that photo fail, they released this short video claiming these two people were William and Kate and that a member of the public bumped into them while shopping. Needless to say, no one was buying this either. They really expected people to believe that Kate had major abdominal surgery so serious that she couldn't return to her royal duties for a month, but she's still feeling well enough to go shopping and carry a big bag? Right. But are y'all ready for another bombshell? Amid all this drama surrounding fake photos and videos, rumors started swirling that Kate didn't actually have surgery at all and that she actually had a huge fight with William after she caught him cheating with Lady Rose Hanbury. People also started accusing the palace of trying to soft launch William's alleged mistress because on the same day they released that questionable AI photo, several British news outlets suddenly started focusing on Lady Rose. By the way, this isn't the first time William has been linked to Rose. Back in 2019, In Touch reported that Kate supposedly discovered William was sneaking around with Rose while she was pregnant with Prince Louis. And get this, as soon as social media started digging into William's rumored affair, sources close to William ran to the press, claiming that William is worried and believes Kate is emotionally unstable. The National Enquirer quoted a senior palace source who said that Kate's desperate struggle with the constant pressures of a life in the royal fishbowl has clearly taken a terrible toll on her physical and mental health. She spent weeks staying out of the public eye after her operations and it's only strengthened her resolve to quit, the source said, adding that William is beside himself over Kate's decision to stop performing her royal duties. He made sure she knew what she was getting into when she married him and she's done a brilliant job, the source said. Now, if you've been around long enough to remember how the British press tried to smear Princess Diana after she caught Charles cheating with Camilla, then and you know that this is straight from the palace's playbook. But just when the speculation surrounding William's rumored affair reached a fever pitch, the palace released a video of Kate announcing that she was undergoing cancer treatment. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy 
and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. But it didn't take long before people started speculating that this video was also AI generated. So when you slow down the video and focus on the details, you'll see that Kate's engagement ring magically appears and then disappears. The pixels around her mouth move strangely and the background looks like a green screen with flowers that don't move at all. Okay, so this is super slow down. So I'm really so sick. Ring is there. Um, Ring is gone. I am wow. Ring is back. It's like even if we forget about the fact that these flowers seem like out of season to be blooming like that, considering England has been like in the 40s for the past week or so. Set aside the fact that there's no movement behind her, like there's no wind, the flowers aren't moving at all. Set aside the fact that this is the exact same outfit and hairstyling she had in that video that was filmed eight years ago in the same garden. Mental health is just as important. Best case scenario, this was like filmed on a studio with a green screen. Do we really believe this video is on the up and up? There's nothing suspicious going on at all. Now, for a couple of months after this announcement, there weren't any major updates on Kate, and people just assumed that she was dealing with her diagnosis privately. But here comes Kensington Palace once again, muddying the waters and releasing bizarre statements that make no sense at all. So on May 27th, the Daily Mail, AKA the royal family's lapdog, claimed the princess has been seen out and about more with her family in recent weeks. But fast forward about a week later, and multiple outlets quoted a separate source close to the royal family who said that Kate may never come back to her previous royal duties. The source said that Kate's team is reevaluating what she's going to be able to take on when she comes back. And then they added she may never come back in that role that people saw her in before. But what does this even mean? And if they're still not sure about Kate's prognosis, why even say something like this knowing it will only get people to speculate even more? Like I said, this whole thing is beyond weird. And a lot of people are now fearing the worst and accusing the royals of doing something sinister to Kate. One person said, that family is sick. I can't believe there's no investigation for proof of life. Also, why is her family so quiet? Money paid. And someone else added, they did something with her body. They don't want another Princess Diana. The entire world loved her after her divorce and she was later unalived when she was ready for marriage the second time around. But how do you feel about all these theories swirling around Kate's disappearance from the public eye? Do you think the royals are really soft launching some terrible news? Let me know in the comments and don't miss out on this next video.